Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be trying out 40 card shaman. Someone in my stream uh, did a deck review of me asking uh, to look at a 40 card shaman. It looked quite a bit different from this, but I took some inspiration and I thought I'd give this sort of archetype another chance. Some of you might remember it being called control shaman. I always hated that term because really it's not a control deck. It's just... Uh, <laughs> A very mid rangey minion pile deck, uh, and it doesn't have like any AoEs or anything. So, um, I don't know how the, the name Control Charm really uh, stuck, but we're gonna try it out. Uh, we're running the finishers, we've got Sidon Artrius, he's obviously a bit weaker now, but we've also got the Astalor with the uh, Bona, Bran, and Parrot sort of stuff. So, definitely powerful late game potential with this deck. It's just uh, maybe getting there might be the, the issue. A couple of new cards though. We have the Blazing Transmutation and Cold Storage. I'm going to try these two out. And because of Cold Storage, I'm also going to bring back the Snowfall Guardian. Potential for us to just stall the board kind of indefinitely if we have a Snowfall or Parrot uh, with this card. So maybe that's something we want to work towards. And of course, we're running the Null package. So Blazing Transmutation, Null, still going to be very strong. And there's a there's a few good bonus cards that we could uh, cheat out, like the the Devourer. If we get a Thaddeus, pretty good to cheat out, and a bunch of five cost stuff that we can do immediately. So yeah, let's uh, just give it a go and queue some games on ladder. Okay, top two hundred forty Shaman. Let's go. Now, lately, the ladder has been infested with uh, Frost DKs, so we'll see how we do against them. I do worry a bit we might um, get a little out-tempoed. Right, we have, I mean, we have the null transmutation first game. Happy days. I guess we, we just want to look for schooling here. These are like, okay follow-ups, but... I think we really want the schooling. Or maybe a sleep breaker for turn two. Okay, this hand would be very nice if we got cut a Thaddeus from the, the null. But without it, I don't know. We might even want to um, do our plays in such a way that if we do get the Thaddeus, we have mana left over. Okay. So I, I'm wondering if we didn't, don't null straight away so that we can uh, null transmutation and then like play a bunch more stuff. If we could do this, or we could just tear apart. Hmm. I mean, if we hear a power, we we can do so much more. Oh, I, I believe, guys. I believe we're gonna hear a power. Come on, Thaddeus. Okay. Oh, we got schooling. Okay. Maybe we want to actually cold storage on all here. Um, we don't have another evolve effect, so maybe not. Ah, uh, let's just uh, let's just do this. Come on, Thaddeus, please. Ah, it's not. Unlucky. Okay. Suppose we can do this. Now, 
This probably has good synergy with uh, the Nargalings. If you get a good one, you can get extra Nargalings. Could be nice. Dark Transformation. Oof. It's taking quite a bit here. I want to give uh, freeze this one to some of the time here. Let's see what we get from this. Uh, uh these are not good. Take that one for our fish. Or we could take this one. Maybe we'll take this one. And I think I want to freeze this thing. I don't want to take an extra four. We can even uh, put this on this and then get a nice value trade. Kind of need to like survive until we can get a devour and stuff. We need to not take enough damage that we die to the seven mana freeze. That's for sure. So that's what we've got to be a little careful of. Okay. I mean, we might we might be playing the control game here a little bit, guys. So obviously going face would be nicer, but we do not want to lose to the seven mana freeze. So maybe we're supposed to just trade. And I'd say just play like these. And I'm actually just going to full trade. And just... We're just going to keep trading. I remember, hope they don't have enough damage to kill me before I get to this. Because it... The, the only burn in their actual deck is going to be dealing... Um, five twice, right? And that's not enough to kill me. We have this and this, potentially, to kill one of them. That's so why I held this back in hand and just used the board trades. And we're like quite far ahead, so it's kind of hard for them to just come back onto board, maybe. Plus, we're going to have this soon. That's a, that's a good play, for sure. It is good enough. Okay, Astalor. Astalor kind of, kind, of, kind of bugged, apparently. If you parrot the, the last one, it does the full damage. Don't get the armor yet. I do want the armor, but can I actually get it? And deal with the 5-5. Five, five. Not sure on that. Hmm. I mean, we could McCaw this. And then we get another one of them. I don't know, I think. We just... Chill? Question mark. Play that. Let me just chill. We need to like outlast them though. I mean, they could do uh, some annoying places that aren't the freeze, like this.
We don't quite have enough to do all this to kill this. So, a bit of a pickle. And if I eat this, I open up the, uh, the egg, which is very annoying. So we shouldn't be dead. At least I hope. Maybe we'll just do this and try and coin the the hill next turn. Potentially. It's a bit a bit precarious there. So maybe I should have just play the asteroid earlier because I am having a hard time fitting it in on my turns. Ah, we do not want that to give face. That's a bit unlucky. He's really not using his freezers. Okay. We do this. Does this didn't get one more hill? I'm not even sure. It wasn't counting. No, it doesn't. Don't hit my face. Oh, again, it hit my face. Ah, uh, that's a that's a pain. That's a big pain. I mean, we have this and then arm again, perhaps. That's going to do 11. We kind of need to heal. Otherwise, we'd die to the second frost spell. Ah, oh, if only we had this and this. Or oh, this healed me. If I did that. It's gonna do eleven. I mean we can uh we could get transform on this. Maybe get a bit lucky, get uh the big taunt or a rush. Nope. At least that one didn't go face. Okay. It's not going to be enough, sadly. Yeah, I mean, maybe we should have just played this earlier. Just dead if they have that, which they probably do. Yeah. Close one. I think I was slightly slightly too timid holding the the Astalor. I should have played that to to, to force them. We almost held the almost. We'll try one more.
I think we won, right? If um, we won, if the the four drop didn't hit my face twice when I had a a load of minions. Okay, Death Knight. To keep the cavern going first, maybe. Oh, it's a slow one. Maybe we'd do better against a slow one. And then just we'll finish with the Sire or the Astalor combo. You have a friendly man divine shield. Okay. I feel like I might be supposed to trade uh, to transform this one since uh, it takes a bad trade here, and it's not a, a minion type for me to get value from that the amalgam. So maybe we do this now. Or. Oh. Do we want more value, guys? Hmm. Or more stats. Oh, it's a shame there wasn't any any tribal one here which had more than two health. Maybe this one, I guess. Try and get another mutinous. No. That might be good. Wasn't wasn't the best transform to be honest. Okay, we got we're drawing all all our marks at least, so we're gonna have some value. That's good. Transform that one. Okay, how many more looks do we have left? We have clownfish. Uh, anything else? Maybe we've drawn too many. Weird they're leaving these ones frozen rather than transforming this. Okay, this is a nice more draw. So we have a clownfish left and no other murlocs, I think. Okay. It's only going to draw one. Still don't mind doing it though. Let's, let's have a look in here first. Um, these are all kind of terrible. Maybe just this one. We can play that. And then next time we could maybe second cavern plus uh, the poacher maybe. Or the cookie. Okay. 
Didn't use a big clear on this. So for the mutinous, we kind of want to find Bran or Bona or Parrot for this before you start playing this. Oh, they are using the clear. Okay. Change their mind, I guess. Uh, let's go cavern and run a poacher. Yes, some fishies. Maybe next turn these two. Drawing a lot. Not, not my drawer of the mutinous, please. Okay, the the fishy ate it. We'll, we'll take that. And this is fine. Okay, we got a null too for maybe a high roll soon. Play this. I mean, we can do the null. But I think I'll just play this. Now, if we're careful here, we could wait until we find Parrot before playing another battle cry, potentially, and then uh, get the draw off again. Because we don't really have the win con yet. In fact, maybe we should be playing two Fanish Falls for these slower grinding matchups. Okay, there's Bona. Seems like an okay time to glug. Not a battle cry, so maybe parrot we can draw more. Um Yeah, my boner. Alright. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Buff everything up. So we we could go for the Bona Mutinous. Potentially. We could maybe try and prep it and play Clownfish the turn before. So that Bona Mutinous then we can play maybe a battle cry afterwards. But we'll see. If he has got an Astor in hand, maybe he has the eight mana guy too sometimes. We could spend a turn playing the gnolls and then the, and the clownfish, then go for the boner. We'll see. No 
Oh, the, the Glog's living. It's going to do a lot of damage here. Oh, okay. Okay. So maybe we draw, actually, instead of using this. I think we want to draw. Makes these cheaper too. Oh, this is very nice. Make, makes us do a lot of damage. Oh, it's just lethal. Sick. I mean, we could have done ten more damage, uh, five more damage as well. Glug ending it. All right, we got a win there. That made me think, because uh, we got the, we really wanted the Famish Fool Battle Cry again. It made me think maybe we want two Famish Fools in this deck. So there's a fair amount of slower decks on that though. So maybe we could find a way for that. Maybe we don't need two of these or two of these or something, but. Only a couple games I wanted to show you guys today, just a short video. There are some long ones. Maybe I'll try this deck some more. Uh, it might not be too bad. Who knows? Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Bye.